to be able to grasp the following, I must first discuss something uh, very important. And that is, uh, there's a few parts to this. So first, there's a saying that leaders are born, not made. Uh, that is actually true. Uh, okay, and here's the truth of it. Uh, regarding uh, men and women, right? So, uh, out of men, there are two types of men. Uh, personally, I call uh, the former real men. Uh, real men are those natural born leaders. They have a, a capacity to, to lead. And the other men, I refer to them as womenist men. Uh, the, the PC version of that, the politically correct you know, I actually came up with it during a conversation, just on a whim. It's uh, the PC version would be uh, they have a semi-complex thought process, right? Uh, and then there's women, right? So the the real men, real men, the natural-born leaders, they have a simple thought process. However, they're capable of anything, right? They can do anything. Uh, women, uh, women, they they had. Uh, I refer uh, their thought process is a complex thought process. Okay. Uh, okay. Now that we got that out of the way, uh, we're gonna go further with this. So, uh, for simplicity purposes, you can essentially group uh, womenist men and women together. You don't have to, you know, as far as, you know, all intents and purposes for pretty much all of Broadsword and everything in general effectively, you can just lump them together. There, there's no uh, extremely significant differences regarding uh, thought processes and, and such. Um, okay, so now let's, let's get down to uh, also, okay, um, going further, right, um, with, with men and women and uh womenist men uh so with okay a, as i stated earlier that we're going to lump womenist men and women together right all right um there's another term that i have for them and that term is uh human animals all right so uh real men they're also human animals but they're pretty different okay so when I say human animals, it's essentially referring to womenist men and women. So lump them together, just human animals. Real men are also human animals, but there's a uh, there's a major difference in thought process. Okay. So all right. Um, okay, now uh, we're gonna move on to uh, meat and potatoes here. <clears throat> okay, so human animals. Uh, human animals adapt and recover to anything. This is hard coded. Um, okay, so now we're just we're, we're gonna we're gonna talk about some heavy things really fast. Okay, so if money was erased and a functional system was desi was devised for society to operate without money. The human animals would adapt and recover to this with no problems. Their thought process is life goes on regardless of their disposition. Uh, the human animals adapt to survive according to the environment uh, at the lowest energy level. They make up over 90% of the human population. The most fundamental aspects of humanity and society have been wiped out by the current infrastructure. Uh, fundamentally important things have become have been effectively made obsolete. Who needs trust where there are laws? Who needs to care where there is money? 
who needs order where there is a government body that dictates all important aspects of life they sort those things they sort they sort out those things who needs to place faith in the good and efforts of one another where there are religions to idolize and worship instead or just having faith in this broken system saps faith enough okay uh, all right the dollar corrupts uh, they all they all need the dollar or pound they'll do whatever they can to get the dollar including cutting corners stepping on and hurting other people lying pharmaceuticals not developing answers rather developing placebos to maintain a constant flow of revenue it's real it's reality but it's not true it's not the truth it's not what we are meant for but sadly it's the reality of present time okay uh, I'm also going to discuss pure pure animals really quick okay uh, human animals you know slightly different or whatever all right um oh and there there's more too to that what I just talked about earlier okay I actually I'm gonna jump into that right now uh, so regarding the human animals hum, human animals in current society uh, are they are turned into animal humans uh, the long form is animal human animals Alright, but I short form it as animal humans, just for simplicity's sake. Okay, uh, there are a lot of implications to this, but I'm going to go ahead and just talk about regular animals really quick, okay? So, regular animals, regular natural animals. A animal, uh, animal behavior is governed by a distinct code. Its genetic code is where animal behavior adheres to. So it does next to nothing outside of its natural design unless it is tampered with. A animal human's behavior is not. Remember uh, that blank slate. Okay, so uh, human animals have a blank slate, okay? And it's been perverted, you know, turn them into animal humans yet they still possess that blank slate right uh, so this is what attributes to all the the uh, the sick uh, serial killers madmen uh, mad women you know society is already set for evil now you just need to sprinkle on some extra evil and voila you have another mess on your hands right okay Okay, it's just a bunch of back and forth brainwashing, uh, suppressing, interrupting, disabling, hindering. The path of animal humans leads nowhere because humans are not animals. All right. Uh, okay. All right, so right now, all right, so we're seeing, okay, so this is more on the system and everything. Okay, uh, so if I were all powerful and I told everyone, be good, all right? Or, you know, human animals or whatever. Be good. That is a direct order. Knowing their God-given programming, good and well, their design leads them to behave based on their system for survival. Well, my friends, the system that you people currently have in place for the people is a dog-eat-dog -dog system. So guess what? Over a short amount of time, the human animals adjust to that system adjust to this system that is dog eat dog becoming dog eat dog thus becoming animal human animals unbecoming human animals all right
Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna go a little further too. All right, so we're gonna talk more about uh, these uh, the real men, womenist men, and women or whatever, right? So uh, womenist men and women uh, effectively they don't have a capacity for uh, natural understanding. That's that's the difference between. Uh, the uh, the real leaders and and uh, you know others right so part of uh, having real understanding is the ability to uh, care and empathize you know share the feelings of others uh, truly um, you must truly understand right so this is the capacity that uh, real men have is the ability to truly understand uh, without question, right? So, womenist men and women can both learn things, right? And they can learn that of of a real man. They could be, they can learn that of which uh, is of a real man, right? They can learn the teachings, right? But they 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 never possess that true understanding okay so and yes uh, you know real men are naturally supposed to be the, the leaders are you know naturally destined for you know control it's not like you know malicious control it's like that's what they're fucking put on the planet to do anyway, uh, anyways uh, so the reality right current time uh, essentially Womenist men, they're insane, you know, they're they're huge control freaks, right? They'll, they'll do a lot of shit in the shadows, right? Um, they're, they're huge control freaks. And then women will be super control freaks as well, right? So it's a constant power struggle, you know, who's plotting the most, who's staying on top, right? It's a constant back and forth. It, it's, 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 it's completely perverted it's not it's not how anything was supposed to be but it's how things are because of how society is how it's dog eat dog and this is what things have become uh th they they do all these things and they try to uh act as though others are unaware of it oblivious of it but nobody's blind right um yeah so it's constantly changing who's on top, right? So the the women and the womenist men they'll constantly toss and tumble on you know who's who's in control. It's a constant power struggle. Um, real men na naturally being control, however, you know, having the current society evil often leaves real men out of the loop, out of control, on the bottom. Any attempts at rightful uh, place at the helm often left in a worse situation. All right, so. I mean, that's just how things are um, with the current society. Um, it's not how things are supposed to be. And uh, it, there's a lot of damage uh, through and through. There's damage to all parties. There's damage to the womenist men, damage to the women, damage to the children, damage to the men. There's damage everywhere. Fallout. All right. So, let's see. move on to okay let's see if we got anything that's uh, refined so I can get it out of the way as we already talked about all right let's see what we got here okay so this is more on human animals and animal humans all right. So, how far the rabbit hole goes, uh, it's bad, right? With human animals set to animal humans, if you try to give them any human teachings while in that state, they will only take what is useful for them out of it. Only the things that put them on top. They don't care about anything other than their self in that state. You know, what gives them an edge? 
Take the Nuremberg trials, for instance. They knew the teachings of good. They could quote them verbatim. But to them, these were only tools to use against those they ravaged. It is because of their programming. Everyone is set to this program. All the women, womenist men, bad, evil. The system is their king and ruler. And currently it demands them to be as animals. The system is wrong, forcing the people to be less than beasts. A common saying is don't try to fix something that's not broken. Well, the system is broken fundamentally in many ways. In fact, a wise man looking at the system in its current state would actually call it FUBAR. Fucked up beyond all repair, for those that don't know. But I know we can fix this. We can set things right. Right these age-old wrongs. And we all can start a true life. Alright. Okay, so... Alright, this is a little more further on uh, evils and current society and all that, right? So, evil is unnatural. Uh, it is currently everywhere on the world. You know, greater than 90% of the human population you know, are turned evil. You know, evil is a bullshit propagating machine. This is the reason women are highly deceptive and manipulative as are the womenist men. It is a cycle of endless evil, sucking the life out of all that is holy. This is not the nature of women. This is not the resolve of women. This is not the nature of men, or womenist men. But this is the current case. This is the reality. But it is not the truth. Tell me, what do you do when you truly believe a lie for the truth? The consequences of your actions says that you do just that which you believe or that which you're supposed it is all the same this is the case because of current society nature follows that of which is lowest energy that which will be holy that that is the the path of nature however uh, twisting and corrupting nature by building a system in which lowest energy translates into backstabbing dog eat dog lying stealing corruption you name it um, manipulative, deceptive nature, you know, deceptive nature, malicious, you know, deception. All right. Okay. All right. So I'm sure. Uh, not sure how much the audience is, has stuck around, but things are about to get a little informative on some uh, secrets that are uh, extremely potent for those that have for those that are still here <laughs> all right okay all right so this is another thing right here uh, this is more on uh, the passive evil and all that and womenist men and everything okay so Alright, so women, womenist men, all that good stuff, whatever. Uh, I had another term for womenist men. Uh, I refer to them as, as worms at some times, depending on their behavior. It gets pretty bad, but uh, it's whatever. Um, we'll just keep it as women and womenist men. It doesn't, doesn't matter too much. Okay, so for them, they use other men, women, children, people whatever as sacrificial lambs to stabilize you know their women their selves or whatever anything around them accessible made accessible to them they will use as sacrificial lambs they don't care what the fallout is for the sacrificial lambs to stabilize anything uh, they use them as bullet sponges uh, what they do is horridly wrong uh, you know things could be stabilized via much more pleasant means. Uh, you know, surrounding people can just treat them okay, and they can be given space. Uh, you know, if they aren't stabilized, uh, they'll be sacrificing whatever is nearest to them. Right? This is referring to the women, right? Um, 
it's an animal response, and they are, uh, yeah, animal humans. They they do things that are way worse than what an animal would ever do. Um, okay, so sensory overload. Uh, okay. All right. So. All right, here we go. Here's more stuff that covers evil. All right. So uh, this is regarding, you know, womanist men and women and all that stuff and the system, etc. cetera. Uh, they use good to sustain evil. This, this, is, this is really, really big. This is huge, all right? So everybody's understanding of good and evil and all that, all that bullshit, right? This this is big. This is a big deal. Okay, so this is what evil does, right? And, and women is men, you know, women, uh, animal humans, right? The system, what is the current system, what's been done, right? They use good to sustain evil, right? Evil does not make good. Good does not make evil. Good does not need evil. However, evil needs good. Our true nature is and always will be good. However, similar to how a virus uses your healthy cells to replicate itself, evil operates in a disturbingly similar fashion, thriving off of the good of humanity, much like a virus. I could say if there was no person, no cells, there'd be no virus, right? True and false. The virus can remain in the form of capsids, right? Be spread, spread through the atmosphere during, uh, you know, different stipulations, right? And evil of our world, you know, once the body is cleansed or whatever, it may have deposited itself in the books, media, whatever, as a capsid waiting for the next unsuspecting victim. All right. Uh, reading history, but who's the authors, okay? The epitome of evil. Uh, evil operates via keep your eye on the ball tactics. All the while, uh, they they wreak havoc. Uh, okay, so th th this is the blank, s blank sl slates. I, I referenced it earlier, but it wasn't really... Uh, covered at all okay so this is information on blank blank slates okay so blank slates to be programmed the human animals are naturally uh, are blank slates you know with the with a root of survival okay the the game right society you know current society calls for animal behavior and so the human animals becometh animals uh, the lowest form i might add because their purpose and function barely surpasses reproduction if not limited to just that or even less a function that competes with that of disease and plague i'm saying c current society is a false society a true society none of this bullshit occurs all right okay All right, so uh, da, 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 da. okay, that is practically everything. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna cover uh, something really big right now. This is this is huge. Okay. Um, I, I might cover biases as well, but that's not really too important in my opinion. Biases are kind of a bias refers to to a natural phenomena occurring in all creatures. Um, it's not it's not referring to like being biased about something. It's referring to a uh, a certain uh, uh, disposition all all creatures have uh, all all animals essentially. Um, it's a bias between the uh, the left and right side of the body, um, it even stretches onto uh, the 
the all of the the body senses, right? You know, smell, um, hearing, touch, or feeling, uh, seeing, right? It um it plays a part in all those things. Um, okay, and the reason the reason I bring up bias, I, I haven't exactly explained bias right now. I'm not even sure if I will explain it. It doesn't really. Actually, I think I'll explain bias, but uh, it plays into stigmas. Stigmas is huge. Uh, st stigmas uh, is extremely groundbreaking, like for everything. Like stigmas is explains so much. Like in the entire world, it explains like everything that that like probably boggled and puzzled people. Like that makes people say, "Why the fuck?" Did something like whatever ever happen, right? Or or something like that. And in like a lot of times where people are just puzzled and just like, why the fuck is this the case, right? Okay, so uh, for certain things, um, that'll be because of stigmas. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into stigmas and this uh, topic. Okay, so. Uh, da, 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 da. so stigmas. Um, I'm gonna explain this via using a couple examples, right? So, uh, verbal communication basically has direct effects only for the most part, right? Verbal communication can only assume the imposing effects of uh, written communication potentially. Uh, written communication has piercing and lingering effects. Same may hold true. However, it is more likely for this stigma to be in place for written communication because of the multitude of variables in play with written communication. Lingering effects lasting. It's consequently ingrained into most parties that the one reaching out is the loser, is losing. Alright, stigmas. Um, Alright, ping flood communication, more stigmas. Okay, so this is a tremendous breakthrough. Okay. And, I, okay, so, alright, people hearing that probably have no idea what it's saying. But essentially, um, so our, our, our dear friend Pavlov, right? And Pavlov's dog, um, his experiments. Um. Okay, so what he did was association and everything, right? That's effectively what a stigma is. But stigmas are a little bit different, right? And the reason they're different is because uh, it applies to much more than one can begin to imagine. All right. So a a stigma. All right. So when we looked at Pavlov's dog, just like association, you got the dog and the uh, the bone and the bell, right? So eventually he salivated with just the bell, right? Association. So uh, effectively, uh, just think of that as what stigmas are, okay? Now, to further your understanding of the stigmas and the impact and what all that uh, means is that uh so for instance let's take a person let's say i'm talking to another person right so i'm i could be talking to a woman a man whatever the, a womanist man whatever the fuck it doesn't matter right uh, within the conversation right both parties are going to experience uh, stigmas right so there is the recipient and there's also the the sender okay and as the sender, there are also effects of stigma and belief. And this translates into additional things sent. Uh, it's a cyclic uh, planetary communication process, right? And this is the reason um, written communication is extremely dangerous to the sender because they lose all their edge of stigma and belief. And all it all falls onto the recipient's beliefs and stigmas, leaving the sender completely defenseless. All right, uh, the whole point is is that in in anything, in any form of communication, in everything we do, there are stigmas present in everything, 
and this is something that people haven't realized, right? The bad guys with this information, with this knowledge, is very, very dangerous, right? But it doesn't matter. I'm putting this out to everybody. Everybody will know of stigmas and their potency, their power, and they're extremely dangerous, right? You have to be very uh, careful with these. Okay, so let me continue on what we got here. Okay, yeah. So now I get into bias. Okay. All right. Okay, and and wrapping up stigmas, you know, stigmas, you know, goes both ways, right? It, it it goes for either party, right? If you're the if you're the recipient, if they're the sender, right? It goes either way. You know, full circle and the rules. Uh, you know, all right. So yeah, and regarding stigmas, right? What this all boils down to is you can do anything you want. Um, effectively, right? I'm not saying to, to do bad stuff. I'm saying like uh, when when people communicate, they get caught up in the things, thinking like, oh, if I I gotta do this right thing, I gotta say this thing, I gotta do this, I gotta do it this way. It's all fucking stigmas. And women, they play a huge part in stigmas because you know guys see the patterns and everything, and they follow these patterns. To do things so they stay in the good in in the good light of women, right? So in the in current society, right? So there's a lot of twist twist twisting corruption and perversion going on here with 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 what people hold as standards um, as you know good good form of communicating. That's the reason you'll see a lot of times people would when they send messages. And stuff like that, they're all fucked up, fucked up messages, like the writing is all fucked up, spelled weird, and shit like that. It's all stigmas, and it, it propagates itself. It, it changes from one day to the next, right? They call them fads and shit like that. They're all fucking stigmas. It all fucking roots to stigmas, all of it. And that's the reason I say, you can do whatever you want. I am definitely not saying for you to do anything bad, right? I... I don't support evil. Fuck evil. I hate evil and anything that has to do with evil. Personally, I have a lot of conviction towards evil. I, I <laughs> let's not get me started, okay? But um, yeah, I'm saying that you can do whatever you want, all right? You can say whatever you want, be whatever you want, or whatever, right? Stigmas, stigmas are what um are, are effectively limiters and uh, disablers, right? Um, they can also be enablers as well, right? It, as I said, it goes both ways, right? A stigma, <coughs> there's another word that people use in public, but stigmas covers everything, right? Um, okay, so, uh, yeah, so, um, all right, so now, I, I think I, I think I've thoroughly covered stigmas. They're pretty big. Um, we're going to move on to biases, right? Okay, so I believe bias, however, is not a stigma. <laughs> bias, left and right, is a no-shit thing. Because the heart resides on the left side of the body, therefore the left side is naturally more passive and giving, leaving it less likely to be attacked. And going deeper, the left gives while the right receives. However, you know, hitting the left has negative effects. This is the reason looking at left in good ways has serious good effects. Uh, person this makes sense. Person this should be true. Pure heart, good effects. Uh, the right side protects the left and is hostile to approach and it defends the left of the heart. And furthermore, it gives nothing away. It only takes. Hitting the right has no lasting effects. This is not a stigma. This is a no shit thing. Um... Okay, so I have more on bias, if I can find it. Uh, but basically, it just goes more into, it, it goes even further, it goes deeper as far as, uh, it, it, I even start to talk about the reason that there's uh, more left, or <coughs> the reason that there, okay, so for the primate population, there's more left-handers, right? Like, they're left-hand dominant, right? You know, they're natural or whatever. In humans, they're right-hand dominant, right? There's like, you know, left-handers are uh, 
So I, I theorize that regarding the left hand and right hand, uh, it, going deeper, not only does that apply to uh, the body, but the mind, right? So someone who's left hand dominant, their actual thought processes are more giving, right? Their entire being is more giving, right? So in this corrupted society, oh, whereas the the right the right uh, handers are are you know more taking, right? They're takers, right? Uh, you know, fighters or whatever, whatever, right? The whole point is is that in current society, which is evil and corrupted, doggy dog, right? The left handers, you know, are fading away, right? To where only the the most like feral left handers are are, are left around effectively right uh, yeah there's still some that are the pure hearted or whatever right uh, you know i mean it's no big thing right like like bias is is not a big deal in general like i ha i have a discussion on it uh, i don't have it in front of me right now but um the whole point is is that the only thing that bias gets you is a few like in in grand scheme what bias will net you interacting with something or someone or whatever is it'll buy you a, a few extra seconds, right? That's all. That's all it'll do. If you go from uh, right to left, left to right, left to left, uh, left to right, right to left, right, right to right. <clears throat> Depending on what order you do, how things are done, it'll just net you a few extra seconds. That's all. That's the only thing it gives you. Um, that's all. It's it's not a big deal. Um, it, it it's a real thing, but it's not it's not a big deal. All right, it's nothing major. Um, all right. So I covered stigmas, bias. I covered evil, women as men, women, real men. That uh, current society. I covered current society. All right. Uh, had more on. Uh, let me see. I might want to touch a little more. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, as I stated earlier, right, this is a pretty big topic, so. Uh, okay, here it is. Um, uh, you know what? I believe I've already covered this. Yeah, I've already covered this. Okay, yeah, yeah. This is just... I just have a little side note on it. I'm going to throw it in there regarding money, right? So, <clears throat> money, root of all evil. It's close, but honestly, uh, it's just a major part of the puzzle. That's all. Uh, as I stated earlier, right? When I, when I covered, you know, current society, you know, the evils and, and all that... There's a lot more to it, right? There's there's government, money, laws, uh, religion, right? Um, just e evil in general. Uh, they they all they all play uh, major parts in evil itself in its propagation, right? Um, okay. Uh, okay. Okay, okay, and I covered the manipulation, corruption, deception. Covered that. Um, I covered sacrificial lambs. Uh, so, yeah, you know, control freaks. Yeah, womenist men and women are huge control freaks. You gotta watch out for that shit. It, I mean, that's the thing is that they do it in the sh they do it all in the shadows. So, uh, you know, uh, you know, us honest men, the the leaders, right? The real men, um, natural borns. You know, they're you know they have, they have a natural uh, knack for being honest and stuff like that, and that that really gets played against them in the current society, right? Which is dog eat dog. Um, it's pretty bad, but. Uh, yeah, so, okay, all right, um, 
Okay, and I guess I'll wrap things up with this. <coughs> so, uh, communication, uh, you know, trust, right? So, real communication, true communication, uh, you know, requires trust. If we don't have trust, we have nothing. Governments are effectively immune. They have no body. Uh, how do you move something without a body? Well, you can do it indirectly, like Hiroshima, or you do it like Hitler. He he did it directly, or, or whatever. Um, yeah. So the whole point is, um, as as I said in the beginning, broadsword is strictly for informational purposes only. Um, honestly, you know, ha getting people to uh, understand and know the truth. Uh, yeah, that's that's about the most important thing anyone on the planet can do. All right, uh, that's all for uh, that wraps up part one status.